this is the 2019 Dodge Durango RT. It does have the two-speed transmission, and it's all-wheel drive. And it does have the uh, four-wheel drive option in it. This is the only model uh, that you can actually flat tow. It has to be an RT and the, the two-speed transmission, uh, so that way you're not messing anything up. We'll go ahead and do a walk around. I'll go ahead and show you the, the front side. We just had this installed yesterday. Uh, you can see our backer plate uh, from where the tow bars connect into the, the rig. And also the wiring. It goes from a uh, six-way down to a, from a seven-way down to a six-way. And uh, our course, our emergency brake. Uh, it clips onto a wire, so if the vehicle comes loose from the motor home, it'll automatically activate the braking system on the inside. So this is the big Hemi, the V8. I think it's a 5.4. Plenty of space. As you all know, that there's six of us, uh, the two adults and then the four kids. Uh, so we need space. There's our braking system. We did get the Patriot 2. And these are the bars that go in. There we can connect the tow bar. This is just a view from the, the rear of the vehicle. There is a star storage compartment below the uh, the brake there. So that way if you had some straps or anything else you wanted to carry, you could. It does have the two captain chairs in the second roll as well. And of course the chairs in the back. There's only two. So it only gives you a grand total of six seats. This model here actually has a towing package already installed. So I do have the trailer brake. It does have four settings that I can set trailers. Uh, also on this model, the neutral setting, I just have to push the pin, uh, but you'll have the vehicle in neutral. And you click that pin in, and you can follow the instructions from the dashboard, and it'll explain how to put the full vehicle into neutral so you can tow it. So, But it does have to be the all-wheel drive with the two-speed transmission in order for that to work correctly. All right, well, I hope you all enjoyed looking at the uh, the vehicle we've chosen. Uh, there were several other options out there that we looked at. We did look at the uh, pickups. Of course, I'm a Ram fan, so we looked at the Rams. Uh, this vehicle here, the Durango, is only around 4,800 pounds. Uh, the towing capacity is 7,200 pounds. So for whatever reason, if I had to come back and move stuff we have in storage or uh, assist anybody, I could. Um, so it's the same setup as a pickup. It's just in a SUV instead of a, a pickup style. So I'm not saying this is the best option for everybody, but this is what we chose. There is options out there in the Ford Explorers. I think there's a few options in the Chevrolet. Uh, we did look at the Acadia. It's one of the other options, but there wasn't enough space in there. 